masonry block retaining wall creator. Um, you can find this option in version 14. It's a new feature that's been introduced. So this is the third video that I've done in this series. Um, so if you've missed the first two, go back and have a look at those. And that one, those ones cover how you can create uh, a wall by using either two strings, top and bottom string to define the wall, or using uh, two tins to define the top and bottom of the wall. Uh, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can copy uh, a wall definition that's provided uh, by 12D, so it comes with the software and where you can actually change those dimensions that that create the the size of the footings um, to suit your own projects. So I'll just come straight in um, and we're under design, tunnels and structures and masonry block retaining wall. That's the panel. Um, set out string, let's just draw one because literally that's how easy it is to to define the position of a wall, just draw a, a CAD string off the, the side of the, the, CAD, the CAD line there. And I've got that in place. So, yep, so set out, setups is, is, the, is the definition file that comes with 12D, and that's what we're going to use. And we'll select a style. I'll just pick that one there, which is just a basic footing there. Alright, so set out string, that's the one I've just drawn and that's going to be the position of the, my wall. And I said to you, this example I said I'll, I'll use tins. Um, so I'm just going to switch that to the tins option as opposed to the strings option. And existing tin, I've got a tin at the bottom and a tin at the top. So I'll need there, I'll, I'll leave that to the right hand side for now and this will create a wall based on the standard dimensions to start with. And I'm just going to change the colours here of the strings just so they're a little bit more uh, obvious to see on the screen. Alright, so let's just run that through. Yep, so strings have been created there. And let's just have a look at the section view. So I'll add those strings there. So you can see um, this is a cross section just through the middle here. And you can see the wall has been created. Um, so based on that 10 RL is the bottom of the tin and the 11.5 is the, the top of the tin there. And the wall has been created between those two tins and yeah you can see there as well in, in plan view uh, the set out string is there and then there's the the models um, for the strings and also the the mesh there so there's the the strings in plan alrighty so and that that's fine so that wall has been or the, the footings have been created um, based on a definition that's embedded in this wall type so what we can do if we go back into that wall type we can click on the the left here um, which is a, a copy and you want to copy this standard definition um, yeah, to your working folder or your user folder. I'll just do working folder for now. And now you'll notice this option here switches from setups. Now we've actually got a, a new um, working directory there. So what that's done, if I just go to my working directory, just to show you, that file has just been created there. And it's the the wall underscore styles dot 4d that's been copied into my working directory here alrighty so now what I can do when I select on that particular option we get a few more options coming up here which we didn't have before so because we're working in the working directory 
um, we can we can obviously edit edit these um, definitions. Um, so the first thing I want to show you, we can actually clone this one. So let's copy that one, and um, it's created a copy down here. And it's it's obviously called it the same name, and then copy one in brackets. And that's how you can get it. You can make copies of these and. This button here will is is the edit button. So if I want to edit that one, this is um, yeah the the data that's that's been copied from the from the library. And there's your copy one. So we can just you know we can obviously rename that to um, exds for an example. Um, just make a few changes here just to show you how how sort of fairly easy it is. Um, there's a hob here, so I see that there's a hob dimension here, um, which has been defined in the table, and it's it's defined as 100 mil. So I'm just going to change that to zero. So I don't want any hob um, for this particular wall, and I can change any of these values here. So I guess so based on the height of the wall, um, as it, it as it gets higher. Um, the base width, um, the dimension B there, you can see. Uh, the, the width here for the footing is obviously getting wider. And also the depth, you know, for the first um, metre, it's 200 deep. And then it jumps up to 250 deep, up to 1.6 metres wide. Uh, uh, sorry, 1.6 metres high. And then from 1.8 onwards, it's, it's 350 millimetres uh, the depth of the footing here. So if we just, um, I know the wall here, it's basically 1.5 meters high, so we're going from RL10 to 11.5, and you can see here that that top of the wall has gone slightly above that, so it's probably using that value there, the 1.6 meters high. And just to demonstrate, I'm going to change that instead of 250. Deep, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it 500, um, just to show you that that's that they're the numbers that um, the program's reading to, to build the shape and the size of the footing. So if I made that 500, and and the, this base width is is um, 1300 at the moment, let's make it um, 2000 just to, to make it something different. Alrighty, so if we just update that, um, that's all we'll need to do. So that's been updated. Obviously, we need to go down here now and select on the EXDS one. This is the one that I've just modified. So I want to use that one. So I go to set, and you'll see here in the picture, you notice the hob's been removed from the picture um, because I had zero, zero hob in there. And um, yeah, so now it's going to use my new definition here that's in my working directory and that's all I need to do I can literally just re rerun that just go process and yeah just hopefully you'll notice the changes here um, yeah yeah that's 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 worked pretty nicely so now you can see it's 500 mil thick and and the, and the distance through there um, yeah, based on that grid, it is two meters, two meters wide. Based on that two thousand number that I put in there. Yeah, so I guess that's that's how easy it is to to edit these. Um, obviously, the, the the cross here. If you want to delete any, you can obviously delete them. And yeah, if we just edit that again, you can obviously change your your block heights here. Um, I'm not going to run this through, but yeah, you can obviously change the block height, the block width, and the block length, um, and then the definition will will change as it goes through. Um, I'm not sure if you've in in the wiki page that that these videos have been posted on. I've actually um, listed all the the definitions for all the the standard types out of the library, so the the type. The type one and the type two. Um, what what all the numbers are essentially, 
So if we look at if we look at this last one here, which has got the key on it, if we look at the 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 numbers in that um, in that sort of column there and all those columns, they're all the numbers um, that have been programmed in the software. And again, I've got sort of printouts or or, or screenshots of all those four standard wall types, and you can have a look at those numbers. And it's obviously been um, it, it, these have been entered based on um, a, a document, um, and that sort of document will say based on the height of the wall, this is what we recommend the the, the base. Um, yeah, width and, and the depth of footing should be and whether it needs to have a key and, and how big the key is and how deep it is Obviously based on, on sort of the loading of, of the wall Alrighty, um, yeah, so I guess that that's how e easy it is to, to run that through um, And again, you, you can save this as a parameter file um, to, to recall that later on we, we can just call this you know exds um, and then write that and then we can um, we can close that panel and then at a later stage we can come back here and come back into the into the option and then there's the ex one there that I've just written I can select that and I can read and then it will remember um, hasn't filled out that definition there um, yeah, so that actually hasn't gone up to the setups. So it's obviously read about the setups, but if I click on to the working um, Now I've got my EXDS wall type there Which has been um, which is running out of the working directory. So my customized wall type Okay, I think that's all for now um, Yeah, I hope this was useful. Thanks for watching and um and talk to you next time.